Hey, how's it going guys? JK here. In today's video, I'm going to hunt and skin the legendary bighorn ram. Right, let's dive in. Keep in mind before you hunt any of the legendary animals, you first need to complete the mission Exit Pursued by a Bruised Ego in Chapter 2. This is where Hosea gives you a handy map that'll show you the location of the legendary animals. But it's not a map that's easy to navigate with, so I've included map locations in this video. The first thing we need to do is go to this area marked on the map in order to begin tracking the legendary ram. As you approach the hunt area, a message will pop up in the top left of your screen informing you that you have entered legendary animal territory and this is the time to use your eagle eye to spot the clues. These clues appear as a fine gold mist rising from a point on the ground. To track the animal on Xbox, you press RB. When you have found your first clue, approach it and an icon in the bottom right corner of your screen will say inspect, which is what you do by pressing triangle on PlayStation or Y on Xbox. Once you've inspected it, you can now follow the scent which will take you to more clues to inspect. If you have some cover scent, now would be a good time to apply it. However, it's not imperative to a successful hunt, but it does serve to decrease your detection from the legendary ram. Three or four clues later will bring you to a position where you will have a clear view of the legendary ram. Look up toward the horizon because you will be able to see the legendary ram from a fair distance at this point. Now you can use your binoculars to study the animal, followed by an icon in the bottom right corner which when activated will bring up information about the animal, what its habitat is, what it feeds on and also which weapons to use for an effective kill. As you read the info, you will see they recommend using a long scope rifle for a clean kill. However, as we've come to realize, it doesn't matter what weapon you use to kill a legendary animal, because the perfect belt is not affected by the weapon of choice. Now is the time to find a suitable position from which to have a clear shot at the animal's head. If you use dead eye, you can lock on multiple shots to the head or as in my case, I prefer using free aim. It gives me a more realistic and immersive experience. Now all that's left is to head over to the legendary animal and skin it. After which we are now ready to take our legendary animal hide to the trapper. Once we're at the trapper, I'll showcase the various outfits that he can craft for us. When you craft clothes, hats, etc. at the trapper, don't be worried about losing them if you put on other clothes, as they're always present in your wardrobe at your camp. Keep in mind when Arthur dresses in trapper outfits, he often looks like this to other players. Now we can sell our perfect legendary hide to the trapper, which enables him to make the following items for us. The legendary ram hat, and then also the legendary ram batwing chaps, and lastly the legendary ram rifleman gloves. Next we're off to visit the fence where we'll have our ram's horn trinket crafted. A quick tip concerning talismans and trinkets. Before you decide to sell off all the miscellaneous jewelry items in your inventory for profit, remember that many of these are often required by the fence to craft these talismans and trinkets. So during the early stages of the game it would be a wise decision to only sell off duplicates for profit until you've crafted all the trinkets and talismans you require from the fence. When you get to the fence, don't click the buy button, click the craft button, then select the ram's horn trinket from the drop down menu. The ram horn trinket is a helpful perk that doubles the amount of oregano, creeping thyme and wild mint when picked. So guys, that's my best effort at laying out the steps to hunt the legendary ram in RDR2. If I've made any mistakes or quoted misinformation, please guys let me know in the comments below because to quote Arthur Morgan, people don't forget and nothing gets forgiven and they don't want folk like us no more. So guys if you enjoyed the video destroy the like button, use your pump action on subscribe and shoot that bell straight in the nuts. Catch you in the next video. Cheers for now.